This is the best desert island survival I've ever seen. They're good at making all kinds of weapons. He made a spear out of stones, fashioned a harpoon out of bones, collecting seafood on a desert island. On the first day of the island successfully ate a seafood meal. 45,000 years ago, early humans arrived in eastern Turkey. They are constantly exploring the environment. The population has also become very large. They were forced to find some new land. But ultimately the biggest obstacle was the ocean, so they created ships. This issue of Survival Experts Carter and Bill will also follow their pace. They walked across a field of reeds. And why is it here? It was all arranged by the director. They'll use their abilities to build boats down the river. To a deserted island land. Opening day. They will try to get out of this reed field and reach the sea. The reeds here are bigger than their heads. You can't see where you're going. Soon they came to the fork of the river. The fastest way to get to the ocean is by water. Archaeologists believe that the first ship must have been made of bamboo, wood, or reed. That's how they got to Australia. Carter also believed that early humans crossed the ocean in ships. The most important thing for them now is to build a boat. They need to find a dry place. Bill saw a forest in the distance. The two men decided to go to the flat, dry spot to build the boat. But building a boat takes a lot of energy. Carter went looking for some food supplies. She found a kind of grass on the ground. This glass grass is edible. It provides micronutrients and vitamins. She soon collected some back. Bill is looking for shipbuilding materials. The only thing around is reeds. But cutting reeds requires tools. And Bill has very limited tools. So you have to knock on rocks to get the sharp blades. This high guy's been banging rocks since episode 1. All the way to episode 5. There's nothing the show can do without a knife. Bill was banging on a rock. Then look for sharp pieces of stone from the broken pieces. Then they took stone knives to the water and cut the reeds. There are plenty of reeds here. Soon they had gathered a large bundle. They carried the collected reeds ashore. Hunger made their work more tiring. A ship needs ropes. Carter braided a rope from reed leaves. It's strong enough to lift a high man. Bill spread out the collected reeds to dry. Let it dry for at least a day or two. Bill was too tired to breathe. Carter also collected reed rods in the water. He carried dozens of pounds of reeds on the water. Can really kill you. Plus it's hot right now. Carter felt dizzy while moving the reeds. She couldn't carry a bundle of reeds. Tired doesn't matter. What matters is being tired and hungry. They feel like they're going to die. Carter began looking for food nearby. You have to eat to work. Carter found a crab at his feet. She is going to make a container to catch crabs. Carter collected some reeds. Weave a crab trap with reeds. Early humans also learned to weave cages out of grass and reeds. Otherwise you would have starved to death. Carter quickly weaves a cage. Catch a crab to eat before the sun goes down. She kept searching in the water. Soon a crab was spotted. Take the cage and persuade the crab to surrender. Finally the crab was caught successfully. But one crab isn't enough for two high guys. Carter wants another one. But she can't catch as many crabs as she wants. Depends on how much the show shows. They roasted the crabs in a fire. Soon they were eating delicious grilled crab. After eating, the two did not have sex. It's about discrediting the completion of the ship. Time to the next day. They got up early that morning to tidy the reeds. They need to build two ships. Tie the reeds with rope and make the shape of a ship. While building the boat, the two men had a disagreement. Bill tried to stuff it, but Carter won't give it to Bill. Anyway, Bill was trying to shove it in. Carter won't put it in Bill. Suddenly Bill was unhappy. In the end, they finished the boat in an awkward atmosphere. Time came to the third day. Because Carter wouldn't put it in Bill yesterday, so they built two rafts. Building a raft like this is very simple. Just tie the reed with string. Hundreds of reed rods were used to bind the ban, to prevent water from getting inside. The pontoon bridges are then connected to form the boat. The most important thing is that the rope doesn't come loose. If it gets loose, it can cause water to get inside and sink into the ocean to feed the sharks. It took the two men three days to build the boat, watching them build. That was a lot of effort. They finally finished building the pontoon bridge. The pontoon bridges are then connected to form a boat. The two men launched the reed boat. They don't have much faith in the ship, do they? When Carter got on it. But it turns out that the buoyancy is very good. The ship was clearly a success. Bill and Carter drifted down in the boat. They embark on an unknown journey to their death. Fortunately, the beach is not far ahead. They keep sliding the OIRS here. The river in the water is very unstable. Carter was too scared to move. After all, such a deep river. The fall would really kill the crew. The two quickly found a place to pull over. What? What's going on? Why did it stop here? It took three days to build the boat. He said he was afraid to die after only a few hundred meters. She's got legs. Do you respect my three-day wilderness survival commentary? Here they dimly saw land in the distance. The position of the estuary is obviously different from the sea ahead. High Frank is scared. 
But Carter says we have to go, because there are more resources on the other side. The two men began to carry the boat into the water again. This time they sailed directly out to sea. The dangers are even greater, but the waves kept lapping at their boats. After some effort, they were finally dragged to the depths of the ocean by the show crew. In the vast sea, it's just these two high guys. The voyage was very hard. Carter began to get seasick, gradually unable to maintain balance. Carter accidentally fell into the ocean. But it doesn't matter. It's good to have a show once in a while. The bitch is lying on her back in the water. At one point, I suspected Carter fell into the water trying to poop. This kind of movie plot. I've seen more than you can walk. Under a flash of starlight. So they came to the desolate island. Now they were feeling very tired. Carter just wants to get back to shore. The two were looking for a suitable disembarkation point. Soon we see beautiful beaches. The two of them are gearing up and heading there. In a flurry of effort, finally landed on a desert island. Two high people are about to burn out. Just lie down on the ground and rest. This journey is very tiring. Time came to the fourth day. Two high men in the spirit of discovery. The sea crossing was completed and discovered a new land full of unknowns. Bill thinks there should be plenty of fish here. He is going to make a harpoon to catch fish. The two men set out to explore the deserted island. That's when I take my pants off and fart. Bill the high guy is sitting on the floor banging on rocks again. He's got legs. You can't do anything but knock rocks. You'd be a man if you could get Carter to bark. Carter hasn't been idle either. She's exploring all over the place. Found a lot of MMS on the floor. It's probably a weasel or a marmot. It's shit if you don't want to eat it. Can be used as a fire starter. Bill polished a piece of bone into a harpoon. This high guy is really good with his hands. Carter found some resin. This can be used to make glue. Using the rock as a weapon, the discovery was a surprise to Carter, commonly known as the amazing discovery. Bill polished the bones to perfection. This bone is very hard. Carter's already making glue. Millions of years ago, humans have learned to make stone weapons out of glue. It's mainly used for hunting. Carter collected a lump of pine tar, put it on a stone and heat it. After melting, add some carbon ash and fecal mixture. Animal manure contains plant fibers. The mixed resin will have better adhesion. Soon she made glue. Carter collected the glue into a ball. You can heat it up and melt it when you use it. Bill's harpoon is almost done. He was sharpening the barbs for the harpoon. When you spear a fish, the barbs get stuck in the flesh. Bill fitted the harpoon on the stick. He went fishing alone in a boat. Hey, can you put some pants on? What's the deal with a grown man wearing a dress? There are a lot of reefs in this location. Bill wants to try it here. He dived to the bottom with a harpoon. I saw a lot of urchins on the rocks. It's very nutritious seafood for him. There's enough urchins in this area to shit him out. Carter cut her dress out of stone. She's gonna use it for rope. These two stones can be used as cutting tools. This stone is not only sharp, but also sharp. With a little work, you can create a weapon with divine power. Carter smeared the stick with glue. And then you stick the stone in there and stick it together. Carter and Bill are really good with their hands. It also shows us a lot of survival skills. These two hippies are the only experts teaching us how to survive. Many dives back and forth to collect sea urchins. It wore Bill out, but he had to do it for the food. Bill is an expert in history. Diving is not his strong suit. The sea urchin that was prized open couldn't be picked up for lack of air. Although the food is plentiful, but it is very difficult to obtain. After hours of diving, he collected a lot of sea urchins. Bill takes the urchin back to the desert island. These sea urchins are what they're having for dinner. But the waves along the shore were very big. They were collecting sea urchins. Some washed away by the waves. It's really a shame. The remaining sea urchins are especially valuable. They left the shore. Build a fire on the rock. Carter also collected some conch. Bill was amazed at the weapons Carter had made. This woman is not an idle eater. And make some weapons. Carter breaks open the conch shells for roasting. And Bill uses rocks to treat sea urchins. There's not much to eat in there. But very nutritious. Just enough. You can still eat enough. It's the first seafood meal they've had since they arrived. As long as there is food, they can survive. So what else is going to happen to them? Look forward to an update in the next video.